In this episode, we'll take a look at how we can build our own custom transitions in Smoke 2013. Using adjustment layers, or what Smoke calls gap effects, I'll show you a very easy way to build quick custom transitions that can help you build many different creative effects. First off, let's start by taking a look at some common effect transitions over in Final Cut. Blurs or glow type transitions are an effect that can be used to help stylize your edit. Let's take a look at how we can quickly recreate these effects back over in Smoke. This is the same edit from Final Cut conformed inside of Smoke. It's worth pointing out when you conform an edit from another editing application, custom transitions from the host application are replaced with standard dissolves. However, Smoke adds marker points to these edits, and this gives you more information about what type of transition was actually used. Here is the edit point we wish to create the custom transition on. When we select the edit point, over here on the left, we can see the types of transitions that are available to us. Dissolve, Wipe, and an Axis transition. Instead of using these options, we'll build our own simple transition using an adjustment layer. Just a reminder, an adjustment layer applies an effect to the layer beneath it. The effect is applied to the gap above the clips you wish to affect. Here in this example, we have a clip on the timeline which has no effects applied to it. But if we move the timeline focus pointer up a level, we can now see the gap effect is applying a color correction to our shot. Gap effects or adjustment layers are great for applying effects across one shot, multiple shots, or maybe even your entire timeline, as it quickly applies the effect to the clips beneath. Let's use adjustment layers to our advantage now and build our own custom transition. What we need to do is create a gap effect which is 20 frames long but centered on our edit point. Step to the edit point. A handy shortcut here is to use Control Up or Control Down to step upwards or backwards to edits along your timeline. While parked on the edit, we want to navigate 10 frames back before the edit. Click on the current timecode field here to activate the timecode calculator. And let's go minus 10. Mark in on the timeline using I. Select the current timecode field again and this time hit plus 19 and then mark out using O. We have now marked up the duration of our transition. Now to be able to apply adjustment layer to both these shots we need to select them first. The keyboard shortcut shift X selects everything on our current track between our in and out points. You'll know that it has been selected by the light blue color the clips turn between the in and the out point. Let's add connect effects to our selection now. Hit Control Tab to bring up the effect type chooser. The important step here is to click the box beside Generate Adjustment Segment before you click Create Connect Effects. Let's create connect effects now to enter the workspace. Now you'll see just two nodes, the connect effects output node and one titled Backclip. Connect Effects is now looking at both the clips either side of the edit on the timeline and treating it as one clip. However, because we are creating this effect as an adjustment layer, we're not flattening the edit point on the timeline at all. We'll see this in action in a moment. Now comes the hard part. Having access to all of Smoke's Connect Effects nodes, we can create virtually any type of effect as a transition. Over in Final Cut, a blur transition was used to transition between the two different shots. We can achieve the same thing here in Connect Effects. Hover over the node bin and press B. This will isolate just the nodes beginning with that letter. Drag the Blur node up into the Connect Effects workspace and over the red input line and let go. We've now added the Blur node to the Connect Effects workspace. Double click the Blur node to access its specific properties in the panel below. Now this concept of a simple transition in smoke relies on just three keyframes. One at the start, one in the middle, and one at the end. 
The start and end keyframes need to have no effect applied. So all we need to do is increase the value of the blur node on the middle keyframe so that we effectively animate the blur filter on and off before the end of the transition. First, let's just make sure auto key is on over here on the right. Let's add a keyframe at the start to lock the default value in place. Pressing K on the keyboard and clicking in both the width and height fields will add a keyframe. Notice how as soon as we click on the field after pressing K and clicking, we get a yellow bar beneath the parameter. This indicates that a keyframe has been added. Now let's go to the end and do the same thing. Hold down K and click in the field. We've now locked in a keyframe with the default value at both the start and the end. Now we need to increase the blur to taste just in the middle. If we click and drag on just the width parameter, we'll now increase both the width and the height. And if we scroll back through the timeline and press play, we can now see the effect animating over time. Let's now exit out of Connect Effects to see our transition. As you can see, the adjustment layer has been created over the top of the actual edit. Hit render before we play back the effect. Use the backslash key. Now we play back the effect. Now this one pretty much gets me every time inside of Smoke. If you create an adjustment layer from the first layer, it adds a second layer. But when we go to play back the effect, the focus point on the timeline indicator is still looking at video track one. So what we need to do is drag the focus point up to video track two, so we can see our effect in action. Hit play. There, that looks like how it should do now. To make reviewing transitions even easier, push and hold down on the play button in the record monitor. If we now select loop and press shift backslash, smoke will play into out multiple times until we stop it. Another effect you might want to recreate is a colour burnout effect where it goes from normal colour, then the contrast and brightness ramp up and increase through the cut and returns back to normal. So back in smoke, let's repeat the process the same as before. We step to the edit, control up arrow, we want to now step back 10 frames, so click on the current timecode field and go minus 10. Mark in with I. Now we want to advance forward the length of the duration of our transition now, so we'll go plus 19. Mark out. Now what we need to do of course now is select everything between in and out. Make sure the timeline focus point is on video track 1. Press Shift X. This now selects everything between out in and out points. Bring up the Connect Effects Effect Chooser, Control Tab. Making sure we click Generate Adjustment Segment as before and click Create Connect Effects. This time we'll just add a Color Correct node. Drag it in between the two nodes. Double click to access its properties in the panel beneath. The same principle as before applies, lock in a keyframe for all the parameters you think you may want to adjust at both the start and the end of the segment. Remember pressing K and clicking in the parameter field sets a keyframe. So let's say we'll adjust the gamma and the gain and the saturation. Now we step to the end, same thing again, lock in place the same keyframes we adjusted. The ones that have blue in their field indicates there is a keyframe somewhere on this clip segment. So we'll go K and click and saturation, gamma and gain. And now all we need to do is increase the value in the middle between the two keyframes and it will animate the effect from nothing up to complete and down again. So let's say increase the gain, decrease the saturation, maybe increase the gamma as well. So now when we scroll back through the effect, hit play, starts normal, burns out and comes back again. Let's jump back to the timeline again. 
hit the backslash key to render the effect and make sure the timeline focus point is on video track 2. Shift backslash will now loop the effect into out. And the best part about these custom transitions that we create with Connect Effects is by a clicking on adjustment segment and then right clicking on Connect Effects, we've got the option to create an effect setup. When we click on that, an effect is created inside of the media panel. This now can be dragged and dropped to the timeline and used at any part of your project. Select it, render, and then playback. So as you're working on a project that is a set style you've created, save the effects in the media panel and simply drag the transition down and place over any of the required edits. Oh. <laughs>